I can still hear my mother's voice giving me advice, even now. She always knew what to say and what to do, in any situation. My mother-in-law grew up in Budapest. When she was eight years old, she went into hiding during the war. Her family was never taken to concentration camps. From a very early age, my mother was responsible for her family. Her father passed away when she was very young. When the Russians took over Hungary, she secretly walked from Budapest to Vienna with her mother and brother. It was there in Vienna that she met my father-in-law, Sam. Sam was 28 and Vera was 21. My father was more experienced in life. They dated for two weeks, did not speak the same language, and two weeks after, they were married. She told me he was very charismatic and she was very taken with him. Before leaving for America, Sam took Vera to a boutique to purchase a wedding dress, which was very unusual back then. My mother's favorite flower was a calla lily, and my father looked for them all over Vienna to make her a bouquet. He wanted everything to be just perfect for her. They came to this country with nothing. They worked hard with no expectations, and with God's help, they succeeded. My father worked day and night, and my mother was there to support him in any way. My grandmother was a hustler. She was in the trenches. She rolled up her sleeves and was happy to do it. Her work ethic and humility was legendary. And it was because she understood she could be of service to others and that Hashem was running the show. My mother passed when I was 28, and my grandmother stepped into my life in a special way. I am one of 10 kids, but what always stood out about my grandmother was that she had a space in her heart for all of us. My mother-in-law welcomed me into the Menlo family and accepted me with open arms. My Bobby and Zaidi were my religious role models. I was always so honored to be a part of their lives. My grandmother was very proud of the family she raised. She had to rebuild everything after the Holocaust. There are over a hundred grandkids, yet she shows us all the same amount of love and respect. They give you just a little bit of understanding. When my wife and I had our sixth child, my grandmother showed up with a five-course meal. China, real napkins, flowers, the works. She always put everyone else first. Mrs. Menlo always went above and beyond. She wanted to elevate her home, elevate her children, elevate her community. She wanted to make a difference. Strong women aren't born. They are forged by the challenges they go through. She was the quintessential matriarch of a very large family. She was dedicated to giving us everything she didn't have. She taught me to appreciate people for who they are. Vera and Sam believed you lived to give. My in-laws dream was to build their family, build their community, and that is exactly what they did. Vera's desire was always to go above and beyond. She would push Sam, give more, extend yourself further. There's always more to accomplish. Valley Tora represented everything she believed in, and she was especially connected to the girls. She wanted the school to be a second home for them that would give them the incredible education that she did not receive. They loved Rabbi Stuberger and were totally on board with his mission. It aligned with their ideals. Torah was always primary. I remember very vividly my conversation with Vera. She told me Valley Torah is our passion. She was a visionary both for Valley Torah and the extended community. She then handed the baton to Frank and the rest is history. If I were to describe my mother-in-law, her courage was her crown. She never gave up. She was selfless, determined, and very loving. She was like the daughter of a king, a bat melech. She was clothed in strength and in dignity. The sign of a true queen is that she sees the nobility and royalty in every person she meets. My grandfather used to call my grandmother Kroini, which means my crown. She was everything to him. My grandfather lost everyone, his mother, his father, his siblings. And my grandmother gave him back his life and his pride in everything. Her courage was his crown. 
She is the best wife in the world. She is the best mother in the world. And she is the most wonderful, wonderful grandmother and great-grandmother. And because I adore you and love you very much. It's unbelievable how much I love you.